Howdy, AP Breakout. It's Miss Cash. We are continuing with logs. We're now in section 211, um, and this is logarithmic functions. So we've kind of talked about a number of these things. We've talked about how, ah, yes, sure enough, they fixed it here. A can't equal zero, B can't equal one. If that didn't make sense to you, go back and watch my 210 video. Um, and then the domain we just said was going to be zero to infinity. The range is negative um, infinity to infinity. Um, if A is positive, then it's going to kind of increase a little bit. But if A is negative, then what we've done is we've reflected it over the x-axis, and so it's going to do something like that. Um, just like exponential functions, they're always increasing or always decreasing. Um, they're always concave up or concave down. So then we can talk about, when we talk about our limit behavior, we can no longer go to negative infinity because negative infinity is not in our domain. So we're going to come from, ze we're going to talk about going to zero from the right um, and then go into positive infinity. And, um, okay, so let's jump in and do a couple of them. So on this one, the limit as x goes to zero up from the right, so coming this way, is negative infinity. The right would be the limit as x goes to infinity of, this is f of x, and that equals infinity. The next one, the, um, from the left, the limit as x goes to zero from the right of, this is h of x. Well, what's happening? As I come, I'm shooting off to positive infinity. From the right, the limit as x goes to infinity of h of x is equal to, well, we're going down to negative infinity. Here, we can maybe sketch a graph. The two will stretch things, but it doesn't change our end behavior. It doesn't even change what we would call the pivot point. We still have one zero, um, and so it doesn't change our domain. It just kind of stretches how fast that's supposed to be nice and smooth. Okay, whatever. So the left, the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of g of x is equal to negative infinity. The limit as x goes to infinity of g of x. Can you see this fly? Oh, he came back. Um, and that's equal to positive infinity. Okay. Increasing, decreasing, concave up, concave down. So this is concave up. It's decreasing. This is concave down. The values are increasing. This one, okay, so let's see what happens. Our basic log function initially looks something like this, but then the negative out in front means that we've reflected it over the um, x-axis. We can think about it too. Um, let me show you. If we forget, we could compare a negative log of x versus a y equals a log of negative x. If we forget which is going to reflect which way, this one does not change the domain. So we can still only plug in positive values. This changes the domain. I now can only plug in negative values. So now my domain is going to go from negative infinity to zero this way. So my, my parent function that normally goes like this has reflected and will go something like that ish. And this one, it normally goes like this. It's now going to come and go something like that. Okay. Um, where were we? So this, we just said reflected and looks something like this. So that's concave up and the values are decreasing. Okay. So now they're saying this is a logarithmic function. Um, let me see how much more. Oh yeah. We're going to finish this whole section in one video. So what are we doing here? Well, we're multiplying by two, multiply, well, we don't know, but multiplying by two, multiplying by two, it seems like that that k should equal four. Notice we're adding one the whole way down. This one, we're adding five the whole way down, that's great. And then what did we do? Well, to six to 18, we multiplied by three, 18 to 54, we multiplied by three. So let's back up. So k would have to equal two. Two times three is six, times three is, and so forth. Um, this one we're adding, no, we're subtracting 10, subtracting 10 the whole way down. What did we do here? Um, well, we first added one, then we added two. Um, I wanted to multiply it by something, but um, it wasn't an obvious, like five fourths is not the same thing as seven fifths. But I'm added one, I added two, so let's see if I add four, if that pattern holds. If I add four, I'm at 11, and then four times two is eight. Did I add eight to get to that one? Yeah, I sure did. Okay, on this one, when I, this is, e to the negative one, or negative two, e to the one, k, e to the seven. So my hope would be that this would be e to the fourth, would be equal to k. Let's see, because then I can go negative two, add one. 
I lied. Add three gets me to one. Add three gets me to four. Add three gets me to seven. Add three. What I'm doing, I'm adding to my exponent, which really means that I'm multiplying. I'm multiplying by e cubed each time. So e cubed times e to the seventh would be equal to e to the tenth. So I'm adding in my exponent, which really means I'm multiplying. All right. Um, so this one, the domain of this guy, all we've done is had a vertical stretch, and so that doesn't change the domain, and it doesn't change the range. This one is going to reflect, but that doesn't change the domain of the range. It's going to stretch. That doesn't change the domain of the range, um, but it is going to shift it to the right. So the thing that we care about here is that this is going to go right three, and so my domain used to go from zero to infinity. Now we're going to go from three to infinity, and my range is unaffected. Okay, this one, don't tell me it's going to shift it to the left three because we have to factor out this b value. So once again, it's a stretch here, which doesn't change our domain and range, but the shift will. Okay, so this is equivalent to 8 log of 2 times, and actually we don't need that parentheses, but we can, we're not wrong. But anyway, it's not necessary. The parentheses is necessary for the addition and such. Um, but I could write this, log of 2x, and that's understood to be log of, I mean, that is understood here. But if I want log of 2 plus x, then I have to put the parentheses. If I don't, this is log of 2, which is a particular number. I don't know what it is, but it's a number. And then I'm adding x to it. Those are not the same. OK, so I'm not grading your handwriting, but I'm grading your handwriting. I'm grading notation, and it matters. OK, so back up here. This is going to move it to the left 3 halves. So left three halves, that means our domain goes from negative three halves to infinity. And our range is still negative infinity to positive infinity. We just finished the notes for uh, 211. Super. Let's keep going. Come back for the next video.